All right, we're we're here. We're here. Where? Surugaya. Surugaya, yay! My eyeballs are tripping for some reason. What? There's some lighting, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and go into Surugaya and see what prices are like now in 2024 in Osaka, Japan. Let's go. Here we go. Here's the famous glass case. So I guess they moved all the stuff. They put all the Super Famicom stuff over here. Oh my gosh. That copy of Gulliver Boy is six. Gulliver Boy? Yeah, this one right here. That's Gulliver Boy. Oh, okay, okay. 8,000 yen for Princess Minerva. Wow. No way, look at... <laughs> Which one? 17,000 for Pretty Fighter. Dude, this game used to be so cheap. So I don't know if the prices are crazy inflated here. Wow, that's insane. Look at Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, 44,000 yen. Dude, that is insane. 11,000 yen for Valken, a game I, I have and paid much, much, much less for it. Wow, these prices are insane. 2,000 or 21,000 for a Daiku no Gensan. Wow, these are crazy. Whoa, this game's worth 14,000 now, time to sell. <laughs> Dude, that game kind of sucks. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy what some of these are going for, huh? This one's eight eighty eight hundred now. Another game that was super cheap. Fallen in five. Huh. Yeah, some of them are okay prices and then they go from okay to just insanity. Yeah. Okay here, look. Dora Bochan, four thousand. That's not too bad for it. But it's just the cartridge is kind of... Oh man. It's this, I, I, we saw this back in... Uh, Which one? 2019 and I didn't buy it. Street Fighter Zero mm -hmm. Two at Tsurugaya. They had it for like uh, 7,000 yen. 25,000. That's so much. The Rise Twin. Alright, here we got some more normal price stuff, I guess. 3,000 yen for a copy of Metal Slug X. That's not... Too bad. It's a good game. I don't know what a lot of this one. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but 800 yen. Biohazard, 3,700. Capcom Generations 1, 3,000 yen. Uh, damaged instruction manual. This is Farland Story, I think. Yeah, Farland Story, 3,000 yen. PC engine. All the PC engines. Let's see. That's not terrible. Though I did find a copy for 500 yen last time over here. Man, some stuff is going up in price. So this used to be a really cheap game. Uh, and now it's going up. 6,000 yen for that. 7,000 for Psychic Storm. Though with the exchange rate, that's not too bad. No. That's still decent. Some of these games are decent. Even with the uh, with the price change, thirteen hundred. That's okay. For what? For Puyo Puyo CD, one thousand three hundred. Still like ten bucks, really. So not terrible. Here's a copy of uh, Buster Bros for three thousand. So you're looking at a little over twenty bucks for that. You have some Valis games for 4,600, 4,800, 3,000 for Valis 3 is not bad. You're still looking at 25-ish, 20 something. This is not getting up there though. 20, 7,000 for Twin B. Seems like it's kind of a lot. Kind of a lot, but they, have a, they do have a good selection though of PC Engine games, pretty decent. Prices aren't terrible. They're not the best. DC selection of Mega Drive stuff. Mega Drive. What is that? Arcus? I think it's an RPG for the Mega Drive. But look, you've got Aladdin for 3,000 yen. Not entirely terrible. 
Okay. For 3,000 yen, it's a decent game. Darius 2 for 5,000. Not horrible. But I'm Ultra still. Beast. Yeah, Altered Beast for 5,000. I'm still in the mentality that, you know, because of the exchange rate, it's still, it's still decent. 3,700 for Monster World uh, jacket damage. It's just, it's sun, sun faded. Look at all these copies of Sprite are here. Here's one for 2,000 yen. This is that the cartridge is damaged though, so. I wonder how bad. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how bad it is. It might be bad considering the price difference between these and those. 37. Yeah, 37. 37, 36, 35. 37, yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing the, the card damage yep. might be pretty bad on something like that. Damn, 4,000. This was another game that was used to be very cheap. It's now gone up in price. Robo Less. This is not a horrible price for this, but um, not exactly the best Alest game, but it's, it's not bad. It's a pretty decent schmuck. Switch 1,300. Actually, I, I think I might pick this up. Not right now, but I want to scope out More the stuff. prices in these stores, but I might pick this one up. Sega Saturn. I want to Sega Saturn stuff. Dragon Ball for 4,800. This is actually decent. It's a decent game. Tons of Dreamcast. Ooh. I don't remember if I have this or not. Damn, we should have cataloged my Dreamcast games. I, I want to say I do have it, but I, I'm not sure. I wish I had uh, done a quick uh, look. Giga Wing 5000? That's, that's not too bad, is it? I think that's, a, that's an okay price. A really good schmuck. We're at the Super Famicom section. All the box Super Famicom. Hey, 900 yen for Golden Fighter. It's pretty good. That's like five bucks. <laughs> Not a bad price. We've got Pop and Twinbee for for two thousand. This one's got uh, cartridge and uh, some other damage. B rank, whatever the hell that means. It's the first time I've seen that. This is a North Star, three thousand yen. Surprising that this is a North Star is more expensive than Pop and Twinbee. I feel like Pop and Twimby is a much better game. Puzzle Bubble. Ah, uh, Puzzle Bubble. Hey, 3,000 is not bad for that. Some prices are not bad, actually. 2,600 for Pan of the Palm. It's a good game. Oh, look, they still have all these, like, multi-carts. These are kind of cool. This has, like, a bunch of the rushing beat games. It's pretty awesome. It's cool. Here's a copy of Rockman X3 for the Sega Saturn for 3,500, not bad. The PS1 version of this is, in my opinion, the better one because the aspect ratio, but if you're collecting them all, this is not a bad price. It says there's some instruction manual damage. Street Fighter, the movie, the game of the movie. Movie game. <laughs> this is like an interactive one. I don't own this one, actually. I don't know if I want to pay that much for it, though, but uh, I don't own this. So maybe I'll pick this one up. If I don't see it anywhere else, I guess this could be like the default place I grab stuff from. Damn, a billion copies of Sushi Pie 2. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's not show that one. Whoops. <laughs> there were boobies. Boobies. There were boobies. <laughs> Damn. Five, 55,000 for Steam Hearts on the Saturn. When did that become so expensive on the Saturn? Cotton Boomerang for 4,000, 43,000. Jeez. Oh my god, Dungeon Dragons collection for 26,000. This has a box in the cartridge though. We have, we have this, but it's only the the game in the case. We got we got to the PC Engine stuff. Oh my god, 150,000 yen, dude. That's like a grand. What is it? For this game, Dead of the Brain. One and two. This was the last game to be to release, I think, mm -hmm. right? On the in 1999 for the PC Engine. Fawcett Amore, thirty-three thousand dollars. 
yen. Thirty-three yeah, thousand dollars, thirty-three thousand yen. Hey, that's so much. Horror story for twenty-one thousand. Nexus are for forty-eight thousand. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is so much. Look. Rainbow Islands twenty-one thousand. Yeah, these these prices like are horse. are insane. Crazy, crazy prices. Crazy prices. Freaking. 20,000 for Strider, and that game is hot garbage. 226,000 for Makai Mura. Oh, no. oh my god, Magical Chase. Magical Chase. 162,000. The cheapest one is 99,000. Would you believe that? Time to sell. Yeah. Sell, sell, sell. He, Mr. Healy? Mr. Healy. I don't know what I say. Yeah. 6,000? Dude, that game was like a, used to be a $20 game all day, every day. 11,000 for Jackie Chan. Which I guess is not too terrible when you're comparing it to the prices of all these other games. Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse for 145,000. These are some prices, you guys. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know what that is, but look at, <laughs> next to it is E5 for the PS2 for 42,000 yen. That's crazy. Yeah, that one? Uh huh. I do. I have mine. Comes in the special box. Oh, you're too. right. So mine might be even worth more because I have the I have the whole set that goes in that box. Now Venus for twenty five thousand. And that's for the the busted one. <laughs> the other one has instruction manual damage. It's still thirty eight thousand. <laughs> it's bonk. Bonk for seven thousand. Not terrible. Definitely can be found cheap in there. Yeah. Wow. Ninja Gaiden for 16,000. Wow. Oh my gosh. Tatsujin over here. Look. 74,000 for Tatsujin. DS. No, oh, nobody gives a shit about DS games. It's good. <laughs> GameCube. <laughs> GameCube. GameCube also, like, GameCube and uh, N64 is still decent here. You can get those at pretty good prices. Dig Dug. Dig Dug, 7,000 yen, boxed. Ooh, here's, yeah, a lot of boxed Famicom here. Wow, a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Some Kirby. of these covers, the artwork is just so nice. Yeah. Too. Look at this Damn, one. Rockman 6 for 17,000? That's crazy. Yeah, the Rockman games are crazy. Look at 113,000 for Rockman 1 box. It's the rarest one. Because it's the oldest one. Yeah. Gremlins 2 for 9,800. We, we, we had that one, right? Yeah, we box? have that one. Damn. Yeah, we have a box. Certainly it's mine. didn't pay that much. No, no it's, it's mine. 13,000 for Batman? Easy. Look at this one. It's uh, Val the Valus one. Cartridge damage, 11,000. Dude, this wow. game is hot garbage. Do you and have this it's one? that much. Yeah, I do. But I paid like, I don't know, like 4,000 yen for it or something. <laughs> That's crazy. Yancha Maru, that is uh, Kid Nikki. Mm. Uh, 116,000 for that one. Japanese Kid Nikki. All right, here we go. Super Famicom stuff. Wow, even like some new stuff is getting really expensive. Look at the Super VG, 4,500. East 5 Expert for 20,000. There were two East 5s, they re-released. This one was more rare. They re-released it because the original East 5 was too easy for people. So yeah, see here's the East 5. Just a loose cartridge, they want 7,000. That's bonkers. Bonkers price, they're crazy. Traverse, 8,800. Ranma, one half. Yeah, Ranma. 4,200. 4, that is the RPG game, I think. Yeah, the Red red Cat game. Uh, Puff of Mail, 4,000 yen. Loose cartridge of uh, Street Fighter Zero Two 2 for 3,500. That's not too bad, I might actually pick that up oh. if I don't see it cheaper anywhere else. Because look, it looks like, that's the average price for it here, 3,500. Yeah. It's not terrible, but um, I might get it. Goof Troop. Goof Troop. How much is Goof Troop? 3,800. 
Mm -hmm. All fine. King of the Dragons for 5500 mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I like that game. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Variable Shield okay. for 4000 4, That's a lot for just a loose version. Yeah. Of Mm -hmm. Ooh, Neo Geo CD games here. Quite a bit, actually. Look, 80k World, Samurai Shaman RPG, Spower, Spower, Power Spikes, Real Bout. This is this is great. That's a, not a bad price, actually. It just says case damage, and disc has some some scratches. Last Blade for six thousand. Art of Fighting three. It's a pretty good selection so far. Viewpoint. Real Bound to the original one. Uh, World's Heroes 2 Jets. World's Heroes Perfect. Rod of Fighting 2 for 2,500. Uh, Foon, Mokushiroku. What is this? Savage Rain. Uh, Top Hunter. Damn, that's expensive. 8,000 for Top Hunter. For uh, that. Sidekicks 2. Super Sidekicks 2, 2,900. Sonic Wing 6,000 yen. This garbage game. Ragnarok 6,000. Uh, mm, some prices are not terrible, like 97 for 2200 it's not too bad. This one's got Obi for 3000 Samurai Shodown 2 for 1200 This one's always a cheap game, though. Uh, King of Fighters 96, 2300 with Obi, not bad for that one. 1300 these are always cheap. King of Fighters 94, uh, Galaxy Fight, 5000 yen. 1,300 for this one. Mm, that's a lot for that, in that condition, considering you can get this one for 800. What the hell? Like some of these prices are like crazy. And then this one says B rank. What the hell does that even mean? Uh, this one says damage case, 1,300. This is uh, Samurai Showdown, Zan Zankuro Muso Ken, Samurai Showdown 3. All right, we've got some 3DO games, D. Nice body. Nice these body. are three 3DO things. Uh, a lot of these are kind of like weird stuff. Dragon's Lair for 3DO, not bad. Here's D for the 3DO. You want the D? You want the D? Graduation, new generation. Ooh, I kind of want this. I don't have this. I like collecting Conan stuff. I have a, I remember watching these in Spanish as a kid, so I really like Conan stuff. Street Fighter 3, uh, Street Fighter, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 for the uh, 3DO, really good. No parallax, but still really good game. 3,600, no, this one's 3,000 because it has okay. manual damage, but if you get a regular one, this one's manual damage too though, 3,600, so I guess it just depends on what condition yeah. you want it in. Here's 3,800, probably in, the best condition. Shockwave. Uh, let's see what else is there. Shadow something. I'm not sure what that is. Trying to Jurassic Park. Here's can this one's actually fun. It's like a puzzle, Crayon Shin Chan puzzle game. 1600 is not terrible. Mahjong. This is like titty Mahjong games. Here's a racing game. We picked this up in uh, Kyoto with Hige and Sabu-san. Uh, this is an F1 game, 2300. This Ultraman game is a fighting game for the 3DO. It's it's not a terrible game. We picked this up in uh, Kyoto, Way of the Warrior. This is a weird like Mortal Kombat kind of thing. Sushi Pie Limited, or actually Sushi Pie Special for the 3DO. Sushi Pie Limited on the PS1. Alone in the Dark. This is an excellent game. It's like one of the you know first those tank control games. Here's that 3DO game again, Ultraman. Some PC effects, not a whole lot of PC, PC effects. effects really. Uh, looks like several copies of Blue Breaker. Uh, forehead. Forehead Monogatari. Dude, look at this this forehead. I always have to point out Forehead Monogatari when we see it. Uh, the Roll Key game and Angelique. And that's pretty much it. All of these box games you can get for cheap too because they take up a lot of space. So people don't want like big box stuff. So sometimes it's a good idea to take a look at some of this big box stuff because you might find some decent stuff. Just take out, like, the, take out the box yeah. and just get the game. Yeah, like 600. 600 yen for my Hime. This is like a like an action game, I think, or is this the adventure game? I don't remember. Cool anime though. But uh, yeah, other than that, 
bunch of random stuff. Ooh, look at this, Sakura Tyson 3 for the Dreamcast. This is like $25 for it. This comes with like a music box. This is an excellent game if you're a fan of this series. Oh my gosh, it's the PS2 version. No, this is the only one I'm missing. 5,000 yen. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, oh wait, I'm confused. Oh, this one comes with a preview of Sakura Wars 5. I was like, wait, those aren't the girls. They're right here. Oh, I don't, I need this one. It's the only one I don't have. I might get it. All right, we got a bunch of loose Famicom stuff here. Uh, oh my God, this one here. Uh, what is it called? 47,000 Mitsume ga Toru is an action game based on an anime of a little monk with three eyes. Really cool game, but damn, 400 bucks. 400 bucks. Here's this one, Guru Me Warudo. Is this a uh, panic restaurant here? I don't remember. It might be. What is this? Winky Momo or something? I don't know. Some anime thing. Another really expensive game. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. That's not horrible. Yeah, that's not Four thousand five hundred for Turtles, uh, the arcade game. I think that's what that one is. Ninja Turtles the arcade game. Uh, let's see here. Some Sentai games. Jetman for five thousand four hundred. It's crazy. Like these Sentai games have gone up in price. Look at this one, Niketsu. This is a basketball Kunio Kun game for 13,000 yen loose. Bucky O'Hare. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, Bucky O'Hare. Do you have that one? Yeah, I do. Damn, 21,000 for Bucky O'Hare? Holy shit, that's crazy. That one's lower. I, I, I paid considerably less for that. Yeah, that's crazy. 1,000. Expensive. Chippendale, that's Chip, not a bad price. Not horrible. Let's see here. We got uh, Alien Syndrome, the Famicom version for 3,500. Uh, Ninja Kun, Ashurano Show. This was a uh, rad action in the arcade in the US. Mm, let's see here. Gun Neck for 7,000 yen. That's we have kind this one. Of Which one? Batman? The, the next one. Oh, yeah. Salamander? Yeah. 3,000 yen for Salamander, the C3 version. Not exactly terrible. Tiny Toon. Tiny Toon, 3,000. Decent game, a lot of fun. Yeah, it seems like all of the expensive stuff are, is at the very top, top huh? Yeah. Yeah, super expensive. Crazy prices. Thousand mm -hmm. stuff. Game gear. Some box game here stuff. 4,000 yen for Sonic Drift. That's not horrible. Damn. 11,000 for uh, Bare Knuckle. Bare Knuckle the, street, the first Streets of Rage. 14,000 for Fatal Fury Special. No oh, mames. That's crazy. Expensive. Bare Knuckle 3 for, oh, I'm sorry, Bare Knuckle 2. Where's the first one? Which one is this one? Is it, no, this is Bare Knuckle 2 for 11,000. The first Bare Knuckle for 11,000 also. I see the bonk back there. Oh yeah, Famicom 3, 3, 3,400. That's not bad. Oh my gosh. Look at some of the prices on these Mega Drive games. 152,000 for Panorama Cotton. Dude, you're looking at over a grand for that and this one here. Battle Mania Daiginjo, 158,000. Damn, 11,000 for Sony 3? What the? F Look at 29,000 for East 3. 105,000 for Alien Soldier. Jesus, the prices are insane. Crazy, crazy. Uh, let's see here. Rockman World, the original Rockman World for 51,000 for that. God, these prices are insane. Let's see, what else is crazy over here? This is crazy. 13,000 for for Gunstar Heroes. This game used to be half that for a very long time. 40,000 for El Yinto. It's a good thing that they reprinted that because that's crazy. 8,000 for that. This is another game that used to be super cheap all the time. Battle Call for Yui. Uh, this is Contra uh, Hardcore for 59,000. A list for 32,000. This game, though, has always been pretty expensive, so that's not too surprising. 11,000 for Ghostbusters. Duh, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know what this game is. I can't read it, but it's, uh, I think, some blimp schmuck. Thunder Force for, uh, Thunder Force 4, 11,000. That's not terrible. Splatterhouse yeah. Part 2. Yeah, Splatterhouse 2 for 25,000. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Bare Knuckle, the original Streets of Rage for 13,000, which is insane. 10,000, 11,000 for the first Summer Showdown, which is crazy. This game is kind of... The Makaimura 7,000, I guess that's not too bad. 6,000. 6,000. Once is 5,800. That's not terrible, but we found them cheaper when we were here nine months ago, yeah. ten months ago in that way. Yeah. Oh my that god, that four is million? four million. Four million yen for the AES version of Chibi Maruko-chan quiz. This is a quiz game for the SNK Neo Geo AES. This is probably the single, single-handedly the most rare AES game for the Neo Geo. Insane prices. Here we got Samurai Showdown Zero Special for 500,000. Uh, Samurai Showdown Zero for 178,000. Uh, let's see here. Master of Shogi. Dude, this game on the Neo Geo CD is like a $50 game. 660,000 for Shogi no Tatsujin on the Neo Geo MBS. 720,000 for Metal Slug 2. 125,000 for Sonic Wings 2, 200,000 for Sonic Wings 3, insane, 49,000 for King of Fighters 98, 240,000 for this garbage game, Shin Oken, <laughs> Ragnagar, 98,000 for Robo Army, I would much rather pay that for that than this game, it's hot garbage, but I guess it's because it's rare, I mean, here is uh, Fu Mokshiroku, this is Savage Rain for 74,000 yen. Which is insane. Uh, Ashita no Joe, a horrible, horrible game for way too much money. 54,000 yen for that. Insane. 169,000 for Fighters History Dynamite. God, some of these prices are crazy. And then down here we have like the more, I guess the cheaper, <laughs> in quotations, for these Neo Geo games. And these prices are insane. All right, you guys, that was our tour of Surugaya and Namba. That's what the prices are like in Surugaya Osaka 2024. What did you guys think about some of those prices? Do you guys think that some of them were manageable? Did you think most of them were just absolutely insane bonkers prices? Because personally, I thought many of them were absolutely bonkers. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these prices. Let me know if you would pay for any of those prices or if you thought some of them were decent. If you guys want to see us go to more stores here in Osaka Namba, let me know. Hit like on the video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.